Hi guys, let's start a new chapter today. We'll look into gaseous state or also called gas laws. It comes under states of matter. Ungulada needs syllabus level the moon states of matter. There are total five states that exist in universe as of now. Three things you already know: solid, liquid, and gas. We are going to see gases today. The other two states which are not in your syllabus, but good as a general knowledge for you to know is one is plasma state. And the last one is Bose Einstein condensate, named after Einstein and an Indian scientist from West Bengal called Bose. Okay, let's look into gas laws. Gas laws comes under class 11 of CBSE syllabus, and it is one of the easiest among the three. Very few questions will come in gas laws. Nevertheless, it's an important problem. Calculation matter than you can do. Formulas are very easy. We we'll look into it. What all is comprised in gas laws syllabuses? First, you need to look into basic properties of gases. Okay, very small. Then you look into the different types of laws of gases, which comprises Boyle's law, Charles law, Avogadro's law, Gay-Lussac law, and these four combine to give you ideal gas equation or ideal gas law. And once we see this, then we move on into, into your diffusion effusion of gases, followed by molecular velocities of gases, and finally we can look into real gases, how they differ from ideal gases. All right. Let's go into the first segment of gas laws. We we'll look into the gas laws itself. What are the types of laws? Before we proceed into gas laws, the different types. One thing we want to say is the gas laws that we are going to see right now are obeyed by ideal gases. But in real world, there is not a single gas that is ideal, but there are many that are close to ideal. We will see later in the property in the temperature and pressure la real gas and ideal gas differentiation kammi a irukonu paaka porom in the condition la differentiation adhigama irukum they don't behave like ideal gas nu paaka porom but to start with we are going to assume that we are going to talk about ideal gases ideal gases ku rendu important property irukku first property not necessarily in the same order first property vand ideal gases are assumed to have no molecular interaction with another gas okay, which is not true for example if carbon dioxide edutinga na in a cool panna panna the solid amar the because one carbon dioxide molecule attracts another carbon dioxide molecule at that temperature and becomes solid CO2 dry ice. But real world ideal world if you keep cooling down it will still going to be not condensed into liquid or solid. Okay, that's one. So gases do not have any intermolecular interactions to summarize. Number two, gases or gas molecules or atoms themselves do not occupy any volume. But obviously, gases matter, they occupy volume. Nevertheless, it is very, very small, but they do occupy. In the end, the important property in ideal gas occupy volume occupy panna other, and other they don't have interactions. Okay, let's assume that we are going to look at gases with these properties and look into gas laws. And the first law that we are going to see. So we are starting a new chapter. Gas laws. Let's look at the first law Boyle's law all these gas laws are not empirical all these gas laws are based on experiments okay so Boyle's law straightforward says pressure of a gas is inversely proportional to volume of a given gas but the most important thing that you want to know is this holds true only at a certain condition at constant temperature and moles. It is not really constant moles, uh, for a given amount of gas, mass or moles are mass is equal to moles directly proportional because mass is dependent on the moles or moles is dependent on the mass, however you want to take it related by molecular weight. So for a given mo moles at a constant temperature, pressure is inversely proportional to volume or volume is inversely proportional to pressure. We can write it this way or another statement is PV equals constant. All this are actually in the, in the notes material I gave you guys. So you don't have to take notes detailed on the material here and there I will say something that is not in the notes or not worded correctly or worded extensively well. So this is what I have PV equals constant for two different gases for the same moles, one moles, one temperature or two gas power around it. Because PV equals constant, I can say P1 V1 equals P2 V2. All right, we can do that. Or a same gas at two different conditions, initial, final. This is the question. There is one, two, three, four quantities 
out of that they will give you three quantities they'll ask you for the fourth one adu edhu avana irukalam there's other way of asking it eppadi kekkalana when the pressure is doubled what happens to volume so i can also say p1 over p2 equals v2 over v1 it's another way of saying boyle's law so pressure is doubled appadina ninga enna sollalam p1 na vandu initial pressure ah vechittu p2 vandu double panna 2p1 nu maarum what happens to volume okay example pressure is doubled so p1 over 2p1 equals v2 over v1 so i have okay what i can have is v1 inge kondu polam inge edha kondu polam okay when i increase the pressure what happens they are asking you okay now is this okay for you guys so p1 v1 equals p2 v2 or p1 over p2 now rearrange panirken now what i have here is when the pressure is doubled what has happened to volume v1 by 2 so volume has become half so double kudukadhu bala pressure is made two thirds din kudupanga so corresponding numbers ninga ponnu so boyle's law is pretty straight forward now what you want to do is the graphs of boyle's law is important and the graph ay vandu nareya vaga irukku they might give you four different graphs and say which one is the boyle's law curve or which one is not the boyle's law among the four so we need to look into all the types now this is our key pressure is inversely proportional to volume or pressure is directly proportional to 1 by volume so let's draw pressure versus 1 by v so pressure zero axis varada but we are going to assume it is zero axis okay so this is 1 by v this is pressure right this is it is going to be directly proportional now i can also draw pressure versus volume pressure is inversely proportional inversely proportional in the curve varada ungalku okay it is going to be an exponential decay curve this is what is inversely proportional curve now what we are going to do let's draw one more curve pressure versus pressure volume so pv is the constant correct pv is constant so ninga pressure evlo maatranalo pv is the constant so you are going to have something like this okay now what we are going to do we are going to look into different temperatures idu vandu oru particular temperature la i can have p1 v1 okay p2 v2 two different conditions or i can have temperature also changing but before we go in all this is so far what i have done at constant temperature so these three are called isotherm meaning constant temperature la pandrom now what i am going to do is i am going to do the same at different temperature so this is t2 and let's put it this way t2 okay so now how are we going to see it the best way to see it is you have to make either x axis or y axis constant ena adha moon irukka terms pressure irukka temperature irukka 1 by v irukka so moon irukka eda onna constant aakanum so i can make my x axis constant so let's say for example i'm making my x axis constant at this 1 by v these are my pressures this is t1 idha p1 nu eduthukalam idha p2 nu eduthukalam correct so now what do i know from that i know that p1 is greater than p2 correct you know axis la adhigama irukku p1 is greater than p2 okay now what do i know from pressure versus temperature ideal gas line namu paaka pora adha pressure versus temperature okay if you see gay lusex law i know that pressure is directly proportional to temperature appo pressure adhigama irundha temperature adhigama irukum so that implies t1 is greater than t2 okay that's what this curve is saying okay. i have made this as constant now we can also do the same way idu constant ah irukumbodhu i can draw a graph here and draw a graph here and do the same avaga draw la paakalam now this is good enough for you now let's do the same here i am going to look into this particular volume constant volume in the or particular volume la pogumbodhu i have p1 and p2 or uh, no this is going to be id t1 appo id p1 p2 okay so now let's see 
So, what has happened is at a constant volume, now this is the P1, this is the P2. Now, I know that P2 is greater than P1. So, that tells me T2 is greater than T1. In this curve, two are not the Blue 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 orange canal, I do not get confused. What it means is wherever a graph is drawn, for example, let us say for a example, I draw one more and they call it T3. Now, I can also say P3. So, my P3 is greater than P2 greater than P1. So, obviously, based on uh, my Galois Six law, pressure is directly proportional to temperature. So, T3. So, in the graph, that's all they can ask from the graph. They are not going to ask any numerical question based on the graph. Numerical question can come in IIT, JE, but not for NEET. But at least you need to know. In purpose, I made sure this is blue color, this is blue color. easier. So, graph don't correlate it. Just say for example, blue and black. Okay? I want you guys to get comfortable with however the graph is given. Now, let us go for one more here. In here, I am going to take this as T1, T2, T3. This is going to be P1, P2, sorry, PV1, PV2, PV3. So, we just finished seeing Boyle's law. Now, let us look into Boyle's law as a real life example. If a real life example on the pressure and volume of the pressure or example, I the entire gas laws, okay, the best example that you can think about, which is familiar to all of you, is balloon. Okay, well, imagine a balloon, for example. So, balloon it becomes bigger and bigger and then you tie it. Okay? Once you tie it, you do not want the gases to escape. So, if you tie it, it is constant moles are more. Correct? Moles release agad. over a period of time it is going to leak. But normally, your balloon tied up balloon that is a constant moles. And at this particular moment, you are holding a balloon. What else is constant? Your temperature is constant, pressure is constant, volume is constant. And I am a character balloon. Temperature room Now, what happens if you press the balloon? Press panna, press panna, pressure increases. Pressure increases na, penna, gonne, press panna, press panna, balloon or size. Volume decreases. So, that is an extrapolation of what we can see here as a Boyle's law example. Correct? Now, I want to, what I want to do is, I want to do it differently. I am on the volume on the kami panite porong. Correct? Because pressure is increasing. What if I want to decrease the pressure? Pressure on the general room will decrease, but imagine that you are able to pull the air out of the room, meaning pressure decrease. Then the balloon expand slow expand because pressure decreases, volume increases. That is the explanation of Boyle's law. Now let us look into the next one, Charles law. The second gas law we are going to see is Charles law. Charles law states that for a given amount of gas, meaning moles is fixed. So, for a given amount of gas, the volume occupied by the gas is directly proportional to the temperature. Right? Now, imagine this. Volume is proportional to temperature. Next to law, we will the pressure is proportional to temperature. A proportional to B, B proportional to C. Mathematically, A is proportional to C. Upper volume proportional to temperature, pressure proportional to temperature, then volume should be proportional to pressure. But that is not the case because Boyle's law says inversely proportional. The reason being mathematics that A proportional to B, B proportional to C, A proportional to C is good only when there are no conditions. But here I have conditions. Boyle's law condition is in the condition at constant something. So, here at constant pressure and also let us put it on moles, array moles of Alright. Now, if V is proportional to T, then I can say V by T equals constant or V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. This is the equation that you want to know. This is the equation What if I change the temperature? Temperature double or volume and Temperature two thirds or volume and So now, for example, if they are asking you this, what happens to volume of a V2 and V1 times T2 by T1? Apo temperature double or not? This is 2 T1 or Temperature two thirds or 2 by 3 T1 or T1 T1 position times 2 by 3. Okay, this is what how you are going to see numericals. We will see the previous examples as well and some more numericals later. But at least this is what is your Charles law is. Okay, extremely simple. 
Now, how does it come as a graph? So, it is always going to be V proportional to T, right? So, x axis exactly coincides because absolute 0 is not to but we can say this. Let us put it for simplicity's sake. So, this is at a pressure of P1. We can take different pressures P2, P3. Now, which is bigger? P1 is bigger, P2 is bigger, or P3 is bigger. Just because it is above does not mean so. So, just like we did for Boyle's law, moon coefficients are we have to make one of them constant. I am going to make my x axis constant if I want, which I make this constant. So, the at this temperature, this pressure is this. So, this is going to be V1, this is going to be V2, this is going to be V3. What I know about this V1 greater than V2 greater than V3. So, I know V1 greater than V2 greater than V3. We also know volume is inversely proportional to pressure. Upper V1 perishana, P1 chinnada. So, P3 greater than P2 greater than P1. See, P3 has become bigger. Now, you can do the same plot differently. So, I am going to do exactly same P2, P3, temperature, volume. Everything is exact same. Now, I am going to make my x axis different, but y axis constant. So, at this particular volume, I am going to check. Okay, this is T1, T2, T3. What do we know? T1 less than T2 less than T3, correct? Because temperature increases. We also know, we are going to see in Gay Lussac's law, at constant volume and moles, temperature is directly proportional to pressure. P1, P2, P3. So, it should be regardless. Now, x axis is a constant, y axis is a constant. Now, what have I made constant here? Temperature. So, this is a Charles law curve, but I have made it isothermic. Okay, here I have made my volume constant. So, iso volume constant means coric. Okay, this is our Charles law, extremely simple. The next one is going to be even simpler if you understand this. We are going to see Gay Lussac's law. Gay Lussac's law is just uh, analogy is pretty much the same, except here pressure is proportional to temperature at constant V and N. So, everything else is the same. In the volume of the P, V1 on the P1, putunga, V2 on the P2, T1 is T1, T2 is T2. So, everything is the same. In the P, in the P this will be V1, V2, V3, V1, V2, V3, exactly the same. P1 greater than P2 greater than P3. So, V3 greater than V2 greater than V1. Okay. So, I do not have to draw this. You do not have to draw this. But if you want, you can do. Try to use different colored pens if you want. Nevertheless, you want to remember this. Fourth one. Avogadro's law. This is extremely important because it is going to define an important property for us. Avogadro's law is just like this in terms of mathematically at a constant pressure and temperature, the volume of any gas is proportional to the amount of the gas, moles. For example, the best example for this one is balloon. If you take a balloon, you keep blowing it, what will happen? It will keep expanding. Why does it expand? Because it will keep expanding. It expand pressure build balloon. So, what does it do? It Because it is elastic, it will keep expanding to match the pressure outside. So, you are at constant pressure. Balloon on the constant pressure. Temperature on the constant. You are So, the balloon expands, volume increases because the amount of material matter that you blow in gas increases. Okay, This is what you say Avogadro law. We can write V over N is constant or V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2, all this. This is straightforward. You can draw the graph also, not a problem. But the most important thing that you want to know is, Gas at a particular temperature and pressure, a volume occupy panamo, a different gas will occupy at the same temperature and pressure for the same moles. Example, let's say for example, I take x moles of oxygen. Okay, x moles of oxygen, it occupies certain amount of volume. X moles of any gas, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, anything will occupy the same volume. Okay, more or less, because they are real gases, it is ideal, but more or less. This is what is the importance of Avogadro law. Now, x moles get the volume na occupy panadhu. Adana, simple simple. 
ஒரு மோல் எடுத்தால் என்ன வால்யூம் ஆக்குபை பண்ணுதோ அதே தான் எந்த கேஸுமே ஒரு மோல் ஆக்குபை பண்ணும் ஒன் மோல் ஆஃப் ஆக்சிஜன் ஆக்குபைஸ் லெட்ஸ் ஏ எக்ஸ் லிட்டர்ஸ் ஒன் மோல் ஆஃப் ஹைட்ரஜன் ஷூட் ஆல்சோ ஆக்குபை எக்ஸ் லிட்டர்ஸ் ஒன் மோல் ஆஃப் கார்பன் டை ஆக்சைட் ஷூட் ஆல்சோ ஆக்குபை எக்ஸ் லிட்டர்ஸ் மீனிங் ஒன் மோல் ஆஃப் எனி கேஸ் வில் ஆக்குபை தி சேம் வால்யூம் அண்ட் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் மோலர் வால்யூம் Molar volume is nothing but the volume occupied by one mole of any gas at a given temperature and pressure. And the symbol for that is V sub M. Okay, molar volume of all gases is constant. Not exactly constant, there is a little bit of variability because these are real gases but more or less they are constant at a particular temperature and pressure. You cannot compare one gas at one particular temperature and pressure and other gas at other temperature and pressure. One thing is, best example, if I have a car or a tire, I have a car. நாலு டயருமே ஐடென்டிக்கலாக மேனுஃபேக்சர் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க நாலுமே நீங்கள் ஐடென்டிக்கல் ப்ரெஷரில் நீங்கள் ஃபில் பண்ணுறீங்க ஓகே யூ ஃபில் ஐடென்டிக்கல் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் மீனிங் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கேஸஸ் போட்டுங்க ஒரு டயர்லேயும் எல்லாமே ஒரே வால்யூம் தான் ஆக்குபை பண்ணும் தட் இஸ் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் மோலர் வால்யூம் த மோலர் வால்யூம் அட் அ கிவன் டெம்பரேச்சர் அண்ட் ப்ரெஷர்னு நம்ம சொல்லிட்டு இருக்கோம் வாட் இஃப் ஐ எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் த டெம்பரேச்சர் அண்ட் ப்ரெஷர் இஃப் தி டெம்பரேச்சர் இஸ் டூ செவன்டி த்ரீ கெல்வின் ஜீரோ டிகிரி செல்சியஸ் அண்ட் ப்ரெஷர் இஸ் 1 bar which is approximately equal to 180 m okay this is called standard temperature and pressure by iupac okay convention at standard temperature and pressure it turns out that the molar volume of any gas in the gas are nalum molar volume will be 22.4 liter per mole an important property molar volume and rather for example hebbs process la und Fi, uh, I know that N2 plus 3H2 gives you 2NH3. Conditions on the, either way, could come. Or, either over temperature and pressure. What I know is, volume under the LA gas may only the temperature and pressure over AMR in the, so what will happen is, one nitrogen reacts with three hydrogen to give you two ammonia. So the one, three and two are moles. Now, my gas has for a mode, over eight condition, temperature and pressure under the, now, other volume over the clock. One liter nitrogen will react with, 3 liters hydrogen to give you 2 liters ammonia okay or you can do 1.5 will give you what the mole ratio that is the importance of molar volume so ungalku vandu romba easy a irukum inno na enna pannala na simple a irukkadhukku ungalku vandu kuduthirukka or volume irukum let's say for example ammonia vandu 2 liters kuduthirukanga innikku neenga enna eduthukala na 2 liter nradhu 2 moles nu eduthukonga ena edho or condition la molar volume nradhu 1 liter 1 mole a maarum stp la idhu edho onnathla 2 liter nradhu 2 mole Okay, 2 moles will react with how many moles of hydrogen? 3 moles hydrogen for 1 mole of nitrogen. After 2 liters will react with 6 liters. So, it gets easier. Mole concept, go and revise it again, this particular concept. The one other thing that you want to know is, this is STP. There is one mole, that is NTP and SATP. Ungal purtho ikki rendi me one arathak lani. N means normal temperature and pressure. SATP means standard ambient temperature and pressure. This is used more extensively in USA. this is used in general in india what it means is normal temperature pressure normal temperature is not 0 degree celsius normal temperature varies according to country so normal temperature is taken as 20 degree celsius satp is taken as 25 degree celsius doesn't matter rendu pocket pocketla irukku and one bar so idu maarala idu mattu konja adhigama irukku volume is directly proportional to temperature so na temperature increase panna zero la irundha appo enna agum volume adhigama agum so 22.4 becomes 24.8 liter per mole so that's the molar volume at ntp now for you in the exam they will give you ntp and they will use this 22.4 it is okay they are close enough don't worry it's about 10% difference that's all okay you can use now i told you in mole concept lecture again you have to remember the divisibles of this number and multiples of this number 22.4 na times 1.5 33.6 times 2 44.8 by 2 11.2 you have to remember all those by 10 2.24 in the numbers le da ungal kudupanga therapy therapy so you need to remember all this okay if you remember it it will be much easier all right now that i have these four laws we can write our ideal gas law ideal gas law comes from all these four so pressure times temperature sorry volume equals n r t so basically pv is proportional to nt r is the constant called gas constant universal constant or gas constant what are the r values that you have to know 0.0821 8.314 roughly 2.0 okay 1.99 something varum 
Now, which one do you use when? This is where units are extremely important. 0 0.0821 is liter, sorry, liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. This is joule per mole Kelvin. This is calories per mole Kelvin. So, your denominator does not change, your numerator changes. So, when do you use what? These two obviously in thermodynamics R value in other places where you use PV equals NRT formulas. Okay. Now, see the two calories per mole and one is joules per mole. 8.314 divided by 2 will give you the value 4.184 that is a conversion of calories to joules times 4.184 specific heat of water. Okay. Now, R value for practical purposes what you are going to use in meters this is good enough. This is good enough this is 2 you do not need to worry about the decimal places that is more than enough for you even for JE mains that is more than enough. You take it as 8 times 10 to the power minus 2 first one. This one I will take it as 83 times 10 power minus 1. 80 times 10 power minus 1, 81 times 10 power minus 1, 85 times 10 power minus 1. Either Purutuna, either Puna 80 times 10 power minus 1, 10 table, 5 table, 85 now, 5 table, 81 Nerthana, I can use 9 table or 3 table. Okay. Remaining on how you are going to cancel out. All right. Otherwise, it is much rather easier if you approximate. Anyways, this is the basis of your gas loss. Either Ulera will go wrong, either double on and now either triple on and now go on. It is much, much easier, but make sure you set it up right. Eh, na? 2 thirds are more than one. 2 thirds are multiply one. 3 by 2 are multiply one. One answer So you have to be very careful. Read the question again. There is no merit to you doing that fast and making minus 1 and going and doing a tough chemistry or physics problem. So take your time and do it and get the 4 points correctly. Okay. I hope the gas laws are clear to you right now. We will use these laws to do problems later. The next one that we are going to see right now is actually a different type of law. That is called Dalton's law of partial pressure. This is extremely simple. It is on the logic you use when you along. Suppose in the room, you have many gases, you are breathing in oxygen, you are breathing out carbon dioxide. So, there is oxygen obviously which you have still left over and then carbon dioxide are leaving and there is water vapor obviously, moisture and there is nitrogen which is the major component of our atmospheric air. So, you have nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, LME air color. So, the pressure in your room is a component of all these gases. So, each gas has partial pressure. So, the pressure in your room which is called the pressure of the mixture is sum of the partial pressure of all these components or two simply pressure of a mixture of a gas is some component of let us even put it a smaller case p partial pressure of a plus b plus c yellow gas circle partial pressure in at one this is what it is okay now what does it mean this is the pressure because of a pressure because of b pressure because of c this is dalton's law of partial pressure but an important thing that you want to know you are assuming that a and b don't interact with each other. Reaction is so intermolecular force. Is you know, A pressure B pressure is You are going to see that in solutions later. Okay. This is Dalton's law of partial pressure. In general, what do you do is, you can calculate partial pressure, smaller case P, from the pure pressure of A. 100% A okay, that is the pressure. This is the pressure because of little bit of A compared to the majority of other gases. So, 100 percent of A at the inner times, okay. what is the percentage of A in this component? Okay. Very simple, for example, if you were to calculate the contribution of U to a given amount of work, it is basically the work by U times the percentage of amount of work that you have done. You full capacity times, that is what on class average for example. When you take an average, your mark times the contribution that you have done. Now, how do I calculate the contribution I have done? This is called mole fraction of A. Mole fraction is nothing but mole fraction of any component is basically moles of that component divided by total moles. Basically, fraction than other, hence, fraction of moles is called mole fraction. We are going to see this extensively in later in other states of matter, solutions chapter, but regardless, this is an important one that you want to remember. This is Dalton's law of partial pressure. In that, you also have to remember this. The partial pressure of any given gas is basically 
fraction of that gas multiplied by the total pure pressure of that gas okay now this can come as a two component system or three component system doesn't really matter this is too simple the next law that we have is Graham's law of diffusion okay let's say for example you have a car tire okay that's for say sake we'll just put this this is some type of air imagine that there is a puncture in there so the gas is going to come out why the pressure here is higher it's not like a balloon this is higher pressure higher so it is going to come out okay full away for oppose this now the air inside is a component of as i said carbon dioxide water nitrogen oxygen ellame irukumla they don't come at the same speed they come at a different speed so the rate at which a gas effuses out is proportional to 1 over square root of density or you can say 1 over square root of molecular weight okay this is an important one that you want to remember idhila nariya problems varum okay the rate at which a gas effuses is inversely proportional to 1 over sorry inversely proportional to square root of molecular weight so and the square root neenga marandittinga inversely proportional molecular weight ne solalam imagine this for example there is a room where people have to escape who will run faster the lighter the person will run faster than a heavier person adhe dana idhum kammi molecular weight na easy ah effuse agum best example is hydrogen will effuse faster than helium helium will effuse faster than oxygen oxygen will effuse faster than carbon dioxide so on so forth that's what this you want to remember now what is the rate mean rate is basically amount of gas over a given period of time is proportional to 1 over square root of molecular mass okay so now what can happen here is they can tell you the amount of gas alone for a given time time fixed avach amount of gas effused out evlo gas velile podu for a given amount of time proportional to 1 over square root of molecular mass that's what they will ask you they can ask you two different rates so rate of one gas a divided by rate of b would be equal to square root of molecular mass of b divided by molecular mass of a this formula is the one that comes many times idhe rendu vaati ninga a nu pota 1 over square root of a divided by b pota mela and b pota this is the formula that you want to know in the formula eppadi la maathalam rate is amount over time so i can say amount over time of a divided by amount over time of b is proportional to this what if i tell you a and b nu nam compare panna porom amount ana time one ah irukku so at constant time meaning given time so i will have amount of a by amount of b equals square root of molecular mass b divided by molecular mass a idhe da same i can say at constant amount appa amount constant ah vachana irukum idhu denominator idhu denominator so it goes so t of b divided by t of a equals the same molecular weight of b divided by molecular weight of a fair enough time taken is proportional to molecular weight ama perusa irundha time adhigama irukum so that is what this means so idhila edha vena kudukala avanga this is extremely straight forward now idhila eppadi la kudukala avanga appadina few different patterns unknown gas ah irukum so amount solliralam amount a um solla amount b um solla molecular weight of one component ku kudutha innoru or molecular weight kudukka matanga ana enna gas nu kekanga molecular weight kandupidichu adu 32 nu unda oxygen nu neenga solla 4 nu unda helium nu solla 2 nu unda hydrogen solla so they can ask you the identity of the gas indirectly they are asking you to calculate the unknown molecular weight adha onna solla rendadu rendu molecular weighting kudutha or amount ku kudutha innoru amount evlo vella pogu nu kekalam or they can give you rendu molecular weighting kudutha kudukka matanga just oxygen hydrogen kudutanga ungalku theriyum they can ask you what is the ratio of them okay hydrogen and oxygen pathinga evlo irukku nu kekkalam ungalku very simple for example rate of rate of uh, hydrogen by rate of oxygen equals square root of what is the molecular weight of oxygen 32 molecular weight of hydrogen 2 16 square root of 16 is 4 so 
rate of effusion of hydrogen is 4 times the rate of effusion of oxygen. Obviously, oxygen is heavier. So, in the mari kudukla, ratio of kudukla, and the problem na mostly varu ongulukha. So, it comes down to reading the question correctly. Okay. Adhe mari ila enda vana ratio of kudukla, time matto ratio of kudukla. We will see on the problem side. Okay. Anyways, these are the other two laws that are in your syllabus. Other than the typical gas laws, you look into partial pressure, extremely important for solution chapter. Very, very important because gas laws in a question come here on the alum, solution chapter in the questions for So, you want to remember this and also Gram's law of diffusion. The only problem that you will have a Gram's law of diffusion is straightforward in the mari square root on the okay. Ilana sometimes square root on the easy out the. For example, oxygen on the nitrogen 28 by 2. So, you have square root of 14. How do you do square root of 14? Square root of 16, square root of 9, square root of 9, it is easier. Okay, these are the ones that you want to know.